There are two other methods to use to show that two triangles are similar. And the first one really, again, comes from the second part of that definition of similar polygons. Similar polygons are polygons that have corresponding angles congruent and side lengths proportional. So we can say that if the corresponding side lengths of two triangles are, and what's our keyword? Should be proportional, right? The side lengths are proportional then the triangles are similar. Okay, This is known as the side-side-side similarity theorem. And yes, it's a theorem. Theorems are to be proven. Okay, The side-side-side similarity theorem states that if you have the three corresponding side legs all in the same ratio, then you could say that the triangles are similar. Now, the theorem for this to prove it is quite involved. It involves using the, um, the parallel postulate such that you draw a parallel line. Um, this is not something I'm going to hold you responsible for, but it's good to know. You would draw a line parallel to BC in the larger triangle, okay, such that this segment here is actually going to be congruent to the segment of the smaller triangle. And then through that, you know that these two triangles here are similar. And then it involves some triangle congruence to show that this small, let's say, purple triangle is congruent to our blue triangle. And then do some substitution, and you would find that the triangles are similar. Again, it's quite involved. You could actually find the proof of it um, in your textbook on page 389. Not something I will hold you responsible for. But let's just, you know, really understand how to use this theorem. Okay, so here's an application of the side-side-side similarity theorem. It says, is either triangle DEF or triangle GHJ similar to triangle ABC? Okay, so I'm going to look at triangle ABC first, okay? Let's assume that they are similar. So ABC, let's say, is similar to triangle DEF, and we're not sure yet exactly how that works, okay? If they really are or not, we want to test to see if the ratios are the same. That's the only thing we could do. So if I look at triangle ABC, here's what I'm going to do. Um, if I were to write my statement of proportionality, I would write AB is to DE as BC is to EF as AC is to DF. Oops, DF. Okay. Then I'm going to substitute in my values from my, my figures. Okay. So AB is 8 and DE is 6, BC is 12, um, EF is 9, and then we've got 16 and 12. So to check to see if they're similar by side, 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 we want to reduce those ratios, simplify those ratios and see what we come up with. If they all are the same ratio, that means we have a common scale factor and the triangles are similar. So 4 over, I'm sorry, 8 over 6 <laughs> reduces to 4 over 3. 12 over 9, reduce it by 3, that's 4 over 3. And 16 over 12 reduced by 4 is 4 over 3. Since all of the ratios are 4 over 3, we could consider 4 over 3 our scale factor and this triangle to be similar to triangle ABC. Okay, so let's test our other triangle. We're going to assume the same thing at first. So let's assume that triangle ABC is similar to triangle GHJ. You could set up your statement of proportionality, just like I did over here. I'm just going to kind of shortcut that for a second, and I'm going to um, write my side lengths in order from shortest to longest for the first triangle, and then I'm going to do the same thing with the larger triangle. So, because that's really how they they would match up, correspond. Now, if you simplify each of these ratios, here I get 1 over 1. You could clearly see this is not going to work out, right? 12 over 10, if we reduce it by 2, that's 6 over 5. You have one ratio that doesn't match. We know this triangle is not similar to triangle ABC, okay? So here's an example of where side-side-side similarity works. Here's where it does not work. The only way to use side-side-side similarity is to actually show all those uh, ratios. Okay, you have to do that. You have to verify that the scale factors are the same. Oh, well, let me get back to where it was. Sorry. Oh, there we go. Okay, so here's another application of side-side-side uh, similarity theorem. So 
we want to find the value of x that would actually make these triangles similar. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to assume that they are similar. Okay, this is like a method that they use in an indirect proof. We, we assume that they are similar. So if they are similar, then we could write our statement of proportionality. So AB is to DE as BC is to EF as AC is to DF. Okay, now I can substitute in um, the values that I know. So AB is 4, DE is 12, BC is X minus 1, EF is 18, AC is 8, and DF, I'm actually going to distribute in my 3 here to make this 3X plus 3. Why not, right? 3X plus 3. Okay, I just need to find the value of X. Well, we have a complete ratio. The scale factor between these two triangles would be 1 to 3, if I were to simplify that ratio, 1 to 3. Now, you could pick either one of these, and honestly, it doesn't matter, because x is x. So if I just pick the first one, or the middle one, however we want to refer to it, and I set up a proportion, 1 is to 3, because that's my scale factor, as x minus 1 is to 18. And I solve this, I get 18 equals 3x minus 3, Add that over, we get 21 is equals 3x, so x equals 7. There's our value. And we can substitute in at, uh, 7 and then see if the ratios do hold true. So if I substitute in 7 here, I would get 6 over 18. 6 over 18 is 1 third, matches. If I substitute in 7 here, I would get 24. 8 over 24 reduces 1 to 3, boom, matches. So 7 is our lucky value.